so I made it to Code PP. Um, it cost me roughly 350 baht to get here. And when I was at the airport, the pier, I paid 400 baht to get a return ticket to Phuket. Now, I could have waited because I'm seeing pretty much all of the return fares is 350 baht. The 50 baht difference is only about a dollar, 15, a dollar and 25 cents, so it's nothing significant. But I do have an open ticket, so I'm able to leave whenever I want to, meaning unlike those who, you know, you go buy a ticket and then you leave when you set up the ticket, I can pretty much leave at any time. My ticket got stamped, paid, and approved. So, I mean, I guess the 50 baht works out. Who knows? Um, but the room I'm in, 620 baht for two days, Friday to Sunday, which to me works out pretty well. Because I got two beds. I mean, if I had company, we could have split that down the middle to 310 baht a piece. Um, like most rooms, I have the um, shower, open shower, toilet, mirror, fan, or AC, but it's not really hot. Um, closet space, wall mirror, you know, it's not really bad for a traveler budget. Um, I got my own snorkeling mask. I have my own video equipment, so I don't have to worry about a GoPro or anything. I got that, my own stuff like that. Um, yeah, so... I'm kind of tired. I stayed up all night, so I didn't miss my um, ferry to get here. Uh, I'm probably going to take a little break afterward. I'm going to find an affordable kayak, find a little snorkeling site, probably go a little swimming, but I need some surround wrap for my tattoo. That way, uh, my sack yak, that way it doesn't fade out or bleed out because of the water. But yeah, just keeping you updated.